Hey G Squad, welcome back to an episode of Is It Worth It? So for today's episode, we got this cool amazing product right here in my hand. If you can see, it's a tripod that's by the brand called ESDDI. And if you guys remember, I actually reviewed a lot of products from this brand, ranging from like LED lights to like uh, tripods and the list goes on. So the first thing first is actually unbox it to show you what it looks like first. So when you guys order this product, you want to make sure that you guys uh, click on that option in the bottom where it says um, to ship with a box or just ship it by this uh, box by itself, like the original box or with the Amazon box. But pretty much when you open the package, we get the actual product itself right here in a case, which is pretty cool. But here we have the actual product itself right here. So it comes in a very nice case that you can actually bring anywhere. It's like small and compact, if you can see. It has little straps and put it in the back like this and just go about your day, carry it to wherever you guys need to use it and whatnot. But let's open up the zipper part to show you guys what it looks like and what comes inside. So when we open the package, you get the actual tripod itself right here. And they provide you a little phone grip if you guys want to use this option. But here we have the actual tripod itself. Let's take it out and show you guys what it looks like. But before I show you guys the tripod, I want to show you guys there's another instruction guide and warranty card right here. And a little setup tool right there is when you use that option right here. But here is the tripod itself, if you guys can see. This one in particular is actually a 64 inch one. So that's actually really, really tall. They have a very nice kind of like material right here for like gripping the product where you guys want to hold it. Um, the rest of the product itself is actually made really nice. Um, it's made out of, of aluminum alloy material. So let's, let's actually open this up real quick and show you guys what it looks like. So move up all these parts right here. And then this is basically what it looks like right here, if you guys can see. Let's drop off all these points in the bottom, you guys can see. It's actually easy to like open and close it. Not hard at all. So that's basically how it looks like when you guys fully set it up. So this one is all the way to the ground already. So you can kind of see how tall you get. I am 5'9", so this is 64 feet. This set up all the way to the maximum length already. And it's a little bit taller than me, or it's like around the same height as me, if you guys can see. Uh, if we take out this bag, let's show you guys what is on here, what it looks like. Put this away from one side. And it's actually really nice that they provide you this, so it kind of protects the uh, part right here. So this one is a 360 rotatable ball head. Let me move it this way so you can see. So this logo right there with the ESDDI, but you guys can loosen this part up if you guys need to, to move the ball head however you guys want to. Um, this part is actually really durable, like the ball head actually stays really well. Um, they have a 360 rot rotatable uh, part right here, you guys want to rotate it. And then this part right here is where you actually would tighten up the mount right here for the top part. And then you guys want to loosen it up, you guys can actually loosen it up and you guys can actually move this part right here, as you can see. So that's where you actually would mount the product uh, depending on what you guys are using or not. So if you guys are wondering how to set up like the phone and everything, so if you guys use the uh, phone mount and everything, all you have to do is kind of just screw it onto this mount part right here and then loosen up this part right here a little bit. And you guys can go down here like that and then just tighten it back up like this and then turn it this way so you can actually see what I mean. Let's say if you guys mounted the phone on here, so the phone would be facing you now because of the way how it's kind of like designed on here, as you can see. And even if you guys want to use a camera, like your own professional camera, like the one I'm using to record right now, just loosen it up again and just put it back to where it was originally and tighten it up. And then you can use it back as a camera mount. And then if you guys look right here in the bottom, there's a little hook right here. So you guys can actually put your bag on here to kind of like weight down the tripod. So if you guys worry about it blowing away or falling down, you guys have that extra weight right here to hook it on to like support the tripod itself. And then right here, if you guys can see right here, there's an option where you can actually twist it to loosen and tighten it. And what I mean by loose and tighten is this part right here. So watch what happens when I let go. So you guys can actually loosen and tighten that part right here. So this one in particular is very, very nice because you guys can use it as a tripod or you guys can use it as a monopod. So the way how you guys will use this monopod is right here. If you guys can see this instruction right here, um, it will actually say release and lock. So all we have to do is kind of twist it. You guys can see. Just to loosen it up and it'll come out as a monopod. So just a pod by itself. And then it, basically all you have to do for this monopod is that you guys can see this part right here. You guys want to remove this part so you guys can actually use it as a monopod right here. So let me show you guys really quick. All right, so you guys remove this part right here. You guys can actually attach it onto the monopod right here. All right, so it's all the way in. You guys can see now it's like a monopod. So just a one stick by itself. So I'm going to go this direction so you can see how far I can get. All right, so that's how far I can get. So for this product in particular, it costs around $60. And for that price range, what I say that's actually worth it. Honestly, I would have to say that this is actually really, really worth it if you guys need one of these or in the market looking for any kind of tripod in general. I personally like the one where I have like my carbon fiber one because it feels a lot nicer than the aluminum alloy. But I'm not saying that this one doesn't feel good at all. Uh, this one actually feels really, really nice. And one thing that I kind of forgot to mention right here, if you guys look on the top of this product right here, there's a level where, so then that way you guys know whether or not the camera is balanced 
or not. And I really like the fact how like everything on here is really nice built. They thought about every single part of this product. Uh, the 360 ball head is one of my favorite things about any kind of tripods in general. Um, easy to use. And probably one of the coolest things about this product is the fact that how compact and portable it is. So what I mean by compact and portable is that when you guys fold this back up, like such a long product can fold up into a smaller product. So let's start from the bottom up and move our way up. Next, we're gonna move the second leg back up first. And then the third and final leg right here. And then once you guys are done with that, all you have to do is kind of like release this part right here, fold it back up this way. Same thing for the other one, release, fold it back up. And the last and final one, release and fold it back up. And then as you can see, it's kind of stuck right here. So you guys want to turn the ball head. So you can actually fit it correctly to the right point. And then that's all you guys have to do. And then you guys can actually put this back onto your bag and you can carry this anywhere. So it's really, really portable. You guys, as you can see, it's so small. Like it's such a big product for 64 inch. You guys can fold it up into a smaller product uh, so easily. But if you guys don't need one of these, then obviously don't buy it and save your money for something else that you actually do need. But other than that, that's much it for the unboxing, testing, and feedback about this product. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, then subscribe, like, and comment down below. And if you guys like this video and you guys want to see more, then make sure to click on that bell notification in the bottom to be notified of new videos that will be coming up in the future. But as always, make sure to stay positive, be you, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Is It Worth It? Peace. And then for today's G-Squad fan shout out day we have...